it's uh, Sue here, Scientific Sue, and today I'm going to be talking about the wonderful, amazing energy ball. Uh, so here is the energy ball out of the packaging, and inside that there is a bulb, and there is a buzzer, and they're connected by wires, and on the outside uh, I've got metal contacts, and if across these metal contacts I put something that does conduct electricity, we will close that circuit. Um, so one of the wonderful things about human skin and humans is we are a bag of dissolved salts and salts will allow us to conduct electricity. And with that in mind then, we've also got a material called Play-Doh. Uh, and Play-Doh is made up with lots of salt and that means that that Play-Doh then will conduct. So I couldn't find any children to help me today, so I've made my own. And, uh, and they are making sure that they've got one hand just touching that electrode and this hand is touching that electrode. Now when we are holding them, we've got to make sure that we don't touch the other person's hand because if we do that, there will be a short circuit and it will just flow across that unit because electricity likes to take the, the, the simplest route. So in the kit, for me, you're going to get the energy ball. You'll get one connecting wire, which has got crocodile clips at the end, and you'll get a, a long balloon. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect the wire into the hand there. So that's one child holding that wire. There we go. Uh, and let's just make sure that that connection is working. Fantastic. And, uh, and to make it easier for me to, to work, I'm bringing in another wire, which uh, this child here is going to hold. Okay, there we go. And let's just make sure that's still working. It, it is fantastic. Okay, now, uh oh, mustn't let them touch. So what I've got here is I've got a material which is similar to plasticine. It's it's um, I get this in home bargains, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that in and the ball doesn't light, there's no flashing, this material does not conduct electricity, we call that material an insulator. Um, and the, if I've got anything that's made from metal, so I've got a spoon here from the kitchen cupboards, and if that goes into the circuit, then, oh, that's a weird sound, then it's going to light up the ball and we're going to get a complete circuit. And so that's called a conductor. So what you can do is you can send the children away, give them a list of items to go and find, and then they can sit down on the floor, they can hold hands, and between two sets of hands, they can start uh, putting these items in. They can kind of have a guess. Some of the items that they're gonna find in the house, maybe a hammer or a screwdriver or a pair of scissors, children's scissors, are going to have us made up with two different materials. So this one's plastic and metal. So whenever we connect these to the plastic, um, we're going to find that there is no flow of electricity. If I connect it to the metal and the plastic, there is no flow of electricity. But when I connect the metal to the metal, I'm then going to get a flow of electricity. It's a lovely, beautiful, safe way for us to build electrical circuits, for us to appreciate that for us to get electricity, we have to have a complete circuit. Uh, if there's a gap, then we're not going to, to be able to get the electricity to work. And to break that gap at home, we put switches in, and the switches then allow the electricity to flow. Uh, you can introduce the word conductors, electrical conductors and electrical insulators. And whilst they're doing that, they're also having lots of fun. So this is the Energy Ball. I'm Scientific Sue. Thank you.